Okay, so keeping on this uh, saga with the Logan lathe for a, a little bit longer, um, I came up with a handy little device to kind of give me a little bit of insight into just exactly what's going on with the bedways on the well not just this logan but the other logan and the hindi now i know this is not between using this little block and digital calipers i know this isn't an extremely high precision setup that i'm getting to here but at least it's going to give me some insight um, so that I can move this a little bit further along. <clears throat> so anyways, I will show you guys what I was doing. I worked on this a little bit yesterday. Um, so I've already kind of gotten, gotten figured out what what sorts of readings I was going to expect. But the bottom line is... I'm just simply putting the little block down here to start with. <clears throat> and using this, come on, get all the junk off of it. So getting this clamped on nice and square except I keep picking up something magnetic here okay and I'll get my lowest reading and I'll zero it so right now I'm showing zero <clears throat> so in theory this somewhere around in this area should be my most worn spot on the lathe. Right there is showing about a half a thou. I know it's it's more worn somewhere. I think I got to around three thousandths somewhere. Right there is about two thou. There we go. There's about three or three and a half. So at any rate, it's not like a, t a highly precision method of going about it. And that's showing about two and a half, three. <clears throat> it's not a high precision method of going about it but at least it gives me some idea what's going on with the the thickness of the v-ways here um, obviously it's not telling me if there's a bow or dip um, other than you know just the wear in the top of this <clears throat> but like i said it's giving me a starting point it's giving me something to start thinking about now here's <clears throat> an interesting thing to or here's an int interesting one let me uh bring you guys in here and i'm going to repeat the same process on the hindi you guys will get a, a little bit of a laugh on this one <clears throat> so i'm going to do the same thing here i'm going to zero it out down on this end Let's see, I think it was about right there. And I'll show you guys the reading here. Oh. 
about 29 and a half. So that's about enough to make you swallow your heart. But anyways, I guess I'm not overly surprised that the Hindi's in that bad of shape, but we'll see. Maybe I'll figure something out on it in the future. But so I also, I took this little device out to the other property and measured the wear on the other Logan, the, uh, the bed of the other Logan lathe. And it was about six or six and a half thousandths of wear or six and a half thousandths of, of difference. So anyways, that makes me pretty doggone optimistic about this Logan lathe, or at least about this bed. So hopefully between the two different Logans, I can put myself together a lathe that's in pretty decent shape. Now granted, of course, all of this is assuming that at some point, I don't stumble onto a uh, an old beat up Monarch 10 double E because I keep looking for those every once in a while, anyways. So, if one of those things just happens to find its way into my garage, then well, these other lathes probably just won't be that important to me anymore. But anyways, I've got a lot more thinking to do as far as how to proceed on the especially the Logan. Oh, actually, I almost forgot. This this part's priceless. If you think the uh the 29,000s on that was interesting, check this out. If I can repeat this. All right, I'm going to have to bring you guys up here and go handheld for a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the carriage back and forth. So watch that dial. Maybe there. Watch that dial. About 35 thousandths of play. <laughs> so, at any rate, I've got my work cut out for me with these lathes, but... I mean, considering the fact that I've only recently started to get a real idea of what I'm getting myself into with these old machines, I'm not crying about it. I'm not going to complain. I They've been fun. There's plenty of potential still in at least two of them, if not all three of them, by one means or another. So, at any rate, um, I'll let you guys go until I figure out something else to check or look into.